the status of our trade uh, of our trade unions um, in Kenya yeah thank you so much uh, just as uh, you said my name is dr. Evelyn Akech I represent public services international which is uh, a global trade union federation that brings together over 13 million workers who work within the public uh, sector. Uh, we are, have uh, affiliates in over 154 countries mm -hmm. globally. Mm -hmm. Now, we mainly champion the issues of access of quality public services, trade union rights. We talk about issues of uh, trade, uh, tax justice, climate change, among others. Now, you're not a very pertinent issue. The dynamics uh, as a result of COVID-19. Now, COVID-19 exposed a number of challenges within the public health uh, services. Mm -hmm. and actually brought about uh, the underfunding, which has plugged this uh, sector for a long period of time. We noted that many, when many people got COVID-19, the first call in terms of where they're going to get help was actually public health services, I mean health centers. And uh, many countries, whether both Global North and Global South, were not able to manage COVID-19 because of lack of things like oxygen cylinders, the beds, among others, as a result of underfunding due to neoliberal policies since mm -hmm. 1980s. We remember during 1980s and 1990s, there was introduction of structural adjustment program, yep. whose main aim was to find a way of getting funds to help third world countries, in quotes, find a way in which they would actually cope up with development uh, in tandem with their counterparts in the global north. And this led to many countries and many governments being told do not put more funding into the public sector. Mm -hmm. Privatize your energy sector, privatize your health sector. And that meant that the government did not have a business in undertaking a business, which is actually not correct. We all appreciate the fact that the social services are the only... Most of these privateers, when they come in, they'll go to the World Bank, either, as, either in terms of IFC who will give them the loans, and these loans must be guaranteed by our government using mm -hmm. taxpayers' money. 